Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft, the Burning Crusade Classic, and our Tauren Warrior playthrough. Tonight we are doing Razor Fen Downs yet again. We are going to get a full clear this time, I can feel it. Last time we did not get the last boss, we uh, ran into a punt mechanic that threw me off of the cliff. And we wiped, weren't able to finish the run, and tonight I want to go in and get some payback. So that is what we're going to do. We have a Blood Elf Priest, level 38 healing, a 39 Orc Rogue, 39 Orc Hunter, and a 35 Undead Mage on DPS. We will of course be tanking. This is what our loadout looks like for anybody who's interested in what we have equipped. I'll go through it here. We were just able to equip this shield that we got out of the Scarlet Monastery at level 39, so that is a pretty huge upgrade for us. And yeah, that's what we got. For talents, we are not prospect. We are doing this as arms spec. You can take a look at where we have points if you're interested in that. And yeah, thank you guys for clicking on the video. I really appreciate you choosing to spend some of your time here with me in Azeroth, and I will cut us to walking into the dungeon portal and we'll pick up there all right we'll clear the data and recount for the run Well, the pet went up here and uh, kind of pulled these guys, which is not going to work out long term for us. Let's get in here and try to establish some threats. Well, it worked out okay. We'd rather not have the pet running off and pulling groups, but, uh, you know. It ended fine. Gonna let the casters get their mana back here for a second. Uh, maybe. I'm assuming the mage would want mana, but... What are you gonna do? They were probably trading water. Probably could have given them another minute or so.
Well, hello there. I didn't notice we had gotten kind of precariously close to this other group, so... That's just kind of luck that we didn't take another sidestep and pull them as well. Let's loot everything while the mage drinks. I'll take it. And there goes the pet. I feel bad for the mage, they have to drink like basically every pull in order to be able to do like their optimum rotation. That's kind of rough, especially because the mage water that they drink most of the time doesn't uh, restore as much as the stuff you have to purchase, so you still have to like purchase water. Or you just drink the slow stuff. Uh, I want to kind of pull them back if I can. You stop casting that. Oh, not that, not that way. Let's come back this way.
What are the odds we can pull this guy by himself? Pretty good. Pretty good, actually. I will take it. And then how about we maybe also pull these guys back? How about that? Let's line of sight this guy. Well, that brought everybody anyway. Okay. I thought there was going to be two distinct groups back there, but no, we uh, brought the whole group with that. So we might have been better off to charge in and get the jump on them. But either way, it's fine. Do I need to pull this last group before we ring the gong? I, I think so. Pretty sure we want to. I think that's good. I don't think we need to keep clearing down there. I think we can just uh, start ringing the gong whenever folks are ready. Looking... Oh, we're apparently we're ready now. I thought I was going to have the honor of doing that. I mean, I'm not a paladin, I don't have a way to get like a ton of threat on all these guys all at once. I don't know if like, blizzarding is a great idea. And if you're gonna blizzard, like at least let me get like, one or two thunderclaps off first. I don't even know if that would be enough to hold it all. Doesn't seem to be. Alright, well, let's give the mage and the healer a chance to get some mana back here. And then we shall click. That seems good. Uh, I thought I clicked, I just, I didn't hear the sound effect go off. Did you guys hear it? Maybe I'm losing my mind. Pretty sure the sound effect did not go off for that. Oh, hi there. Oh, hi there, Robert. You're not looking behind you, buddy. At least we have smart DPS who uh, brought them to their tank. I do appreciate that. Makes me seem a little bit more competent than I actually am when I have smart DPS. These guys just love the mage. Oh man, does the mage have any like threat reduction talents? Cause I'd say like, man, take some of those. That's kind of crazy.
It's funny because I seem able to keep them off of the rogue better than I can keep them off of the mage. But when I look at the damage, let's look at DPS. Oh, okay. I'm not seeing the real picture when I'm looking at damage. I do need to remember to check actual DPS. Every once in a while, that kind of makes more sense. Hmm. Alright. Looks good to me. Hey, heard it that time. Leather nature resistance, 10 intellect, 9 strength. So good for a druid. I guess good for a druid. It's like weird to do intellect and strength on the same piece. But yeah, I guess good for a druid who wants to do feral and also heal. Maybe? I don't know. Kind of confused about that one, I guess. So does this mean we're going to be purple for 15 minutes? It's kind of annoying. Uh, I don't think I have a good way to... Oh, okay, I can. I can just charge right around the thing. Perfect. No, no casting. Now we don't have line of sight, there we go. Last time I did this, uh, we almost had a problem with these guys because we pulled them all together. I wonder if I can just wait a second for Blood Rage and then we pull these guys back without pulling the main boss. So last time the main boss came with, and I don't think we want to do it that way. Oh, we can pull small groups. Yeah.
Oh yeah, see, now we've activated this guy. I have to get in here and taunt this, so... Yeah, this is not... <laughs> not the way to do this, so... Not in my opinion. I'm gonna go in here and make sure that, uh... We get some threat on the boss. Looks like the mage is gonna handle that back there. Oh yeah, that reduces casting speed by 15% and the time between attacks is increased by 18%? Yeah, that seems like... It seems like if you could decurse that, that maybe you would want to. Uh, I guess maybe we can't do it? Cloth Waste, 6 stamina, 10 intellect. Increases damage and healing done by magical spells and effects by up to 12. Cool. Yeah, I guess we are- we're running with this curse, so... That's something. A random green drop, some pans, 9 intellect, 8 stamina. Well, the big improvement over last run is that up until this point, we have maintained all of our group mates, and we haven't lost anybody. And it's like a totally different experience, imagine that.
Uh, let's not pull this group when this path walks this pat walks into it. Let's allow them to kind of run their course here and we'll see if they come down here we'll pull them on their own, but I'm not gonna make that mistake. Let's just be patient. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna come all the way down. I'm gonna give them a little bit more distance here because it's a little hard to judge and then I'm gonna charge in. Because yeah, this is already a five pull. This is are these all elites? No, they're not all elites. Okay. So there's only two elites. That's actually not too bad. Just gets a little visually confusing when there's that many mobs though. Oh uh, yep, we've got some incoming here. That's good. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, this is not what I want. <laughs> we are not going to pull that group right now. We're going to wait and see what this guy does. Maybe we can fight him back here in this little corridor. That's, uh, that's kind of what I'm tempted to do. Let's do that. Yep. And some leather shoulders with 5 strength, 6 agility, and 15 stamina. I'm glad the rogue needs those. Those are really awesome stats. Pretty good gear dropping in here. Uh, what is this? Where does this go? I don't know. Uh, let's see, what do we got going on here? That's one, two, three elites. I could probably like put up some marks if I really wanted to 
keep track for myself uh, what I expect to have happen here. Let's do something like this. I know marks! What are marks? Robert doesn't use marks. Doesn't matter. I guess like triangle means rogue attack this. It's probably some kind of like marking language that I'm not familiar with, but yeah, that seems to be the case. The marks did not help us with threat, that's for sure. I'm not against marking, I just often question how much it's really necessary to the success of the run. Like, obviously we're doing fine in here without marks. It's like, it would probably almost just be easier for me, because then I know who's an elite and who's not. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna keep doing that, see if that helps. For the sake of my sanity, I feel like I ought to just concern myself with holding threat on the actual elites. Uh, that would probably be a smarter way to go about things. Probably not smart to be chasing down normal mobs. Unless they're going for the healer, I guess. Then it would be smart. Thank you. 
gonna give everybody a minute to get some of their mana back here. Random leather gloves, agility and stand.
All right. We're about halfway up here. Well, that didn't work. Gotta love it. Okay, we've got, uh, well, we've got a few guys. I think I need to pull these guys back, or should I just go in? I guess I just go in. I don't think we have a chance of pulling the boss as well, as long as we don't go up onto the plateau. Yeah, the ads are getting aggravating, the non-elite ads. Like, a DPS should just break off and deal with those. I don't think I'm gonna chase them around. Probably should have made that decision a long time ago, but... Yeah, they're, they're non-elites. I mean, yeah, freeze them in place, do whatever you have to do. Alright, here we go. We've learned from last time that I'm gonna tank him with my back into the hut because last time he kicked us all the way off and we fell way down there and it was a wipe so now we're gonna do it a little bit differently and probably a little bit more smartly and I don't think we're gonna have a problem with it this time at all uh, you know last time we were formatting it so that was an issue too because we had had a lever so all right here we go uh, let's uh Get a little screenshot here maybe to commemorate that we actually got this far this time. Ready? Yes. Everyone's ready. I'm the one that's not ready. Now I'm ready. Now we're going. Let's let's tank him like this. Put our back into the cave here, into the hut. Okay, I am completely stuck here. I, I still can't move. Okay, now we're moving. Alright, hey, we got it. Got some plate there that we can't quite wear yet with 15 strength, 7 agility, 10 stamina, 383 armor, and 10 frost resistance. Uh, since we're the only one that can wear plate, I'm going to go ahead and roll need and be really happy to have gotten a piece of loot off of this boss and to have beaten this boss. It was a very good run. Good job, everybody. All right, that is that. That brings our total number of plate up to two. We have two pieces of plate waiting for us at level 40. Good times. This was a good run. Thank you guys for being here with me. I really do appreciate the support. A special thank you to those of you who are members on the YouTube channel and are with me on Patreon. It's that direct support that will allow me to keep doing what I do long into the future. Thank you so much to those that do. Everybody take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we'll see you back in Azeroth again really soon. Bye now.